Well, good afternoon, everybody. I'll start off with a quick safety disclaimer. So, uh, yes, these classes and what I say are not medical advice. Please consult with your healthcare professional before making changes to manage your healthcare management plan. This presentation does not represent Parkinson Canada's endorsement of products or treatment related to Parkinson's disease. This presentation is meant to provide general information. If you have specific questions about managing Parkinson disease for yourself or others, contact info at parkinson.ca or you can call our 1-800 number, which is 1-800-565-3000. Again, the telephone number is 1-800-565-3000. Got that out of the way. Well, welcome everybody. This is uh, your at-home workout class number 23. My name is Lance Latane. I am the Parkinson Canada event coordinator here in Manitoba and TGIF. Thank God it's Friday. If you're new to the class, I'd really like to welcome you for particip to, to, to participate. If you've been here before, thank you. Um, if you like the class, just let me know. If there's anything that... Uh, any questions you want asked uh, answered, just fire away. You can uh, let me know through uh, the pop-up screen during these live broadcast classes, or you can message the Parkinson Canada uh, Manitoba Facebook group page, and you can leave a question there for myself or for Donna. Um, or if you want, you could um, always add us on YouTube. Uh, you'll find us on Parkinson Canada on the YouTube channel. You, all you have to do is subscribe. You can leave questions, comments, and we'll be for sure to get back to you. And don't forget to like us if, if, if it's something that you enjoy. Uh, safety. So I just talked about the safety disclaimer earlier on, but uh, I thought just touch base about a few more things here. Um, if you're feeling any pain or soreness, um, stop. Uh, we're not looking for pain. Soreness is different, but pain is a different story altogether. Hello, Pete. Great to see you. And Ruth, oh, you never miss a class, Ruth. I love it. Um, yeah, so pain is, is bad. Soreness, well, we can live with a little bit of soreness. Um, how do you feel today? Do you feel like you had a good sleep? Do you feel energized? Do you feel up to following through the class right now? If not, it's okay. This class is going to be saved on the Parkinson Canada Manitoba Facebook uh, group page. So you can come back to it when you're feeling a little stronger. Um, do you have maybe a sense, if you're just starting off, or do you have a sense of uh, a fear of falling? That's a real fear, and I can totally appreciate that. I want you to know that... Um, a lot of the exercises, almost everything that we're doing can be done from a seated position. So don't feel like you have to uh, stand up and challenge yourself. If you want to sit down and do most all these exercises, by all means, do it. Actually, it's even more challenging in some respects. Um, for those of you that are standing and you're still a little bit uncertain, well, you know, you can use a chair for support. You can have a hand or you can have both hands on a chair, or at least you can have a hand on the wall when we're doing some of these things. Um, is there someone there to help you in case you were to have a falling episode? Or does somebody know, at, le at the very least, that you're exercising? Uh, if so, uh, that's great. If not, maybe that's something you can plan to do in the future. So, just talk a little, few things about benefits right now. I heard a really good quote th th this morning. When you move the outer you, the inner you feels better. I don't know about you, but that definitely applies to me. Mm -hmm. Um, I also found that, um, you, when you are exercising, you are taking control of the things that you can control. So you have that sense of control and you're taking responsibility for your body. And there's different ways that we can do this. You know, it's from things like sleep, you know, going to bed at a regular sleep time, having good uh, sleep hygiene, trying to stay away from the computer screen, uh, or trying to take away from uh, any sort of alcohol. Um, definitely interrupts your sleep. Uh, you, we are what we eat. Are you eating healthy? If so, good for you. Um, if there's some changes that you can make, well, you know, now is a good time to consider making those changes. Hydration is one that uh, people often uh, uh, don't pay attention to. So we need to be drinking a lot of water. It's going to help out a lot with our with our bodily functions. 
Um, it's going to make going to the washroom a heck of a lot easier. But it's also going to um, help when we're doing exercise. And of course, movement. You're here today, so that says something that you're taking control of, uh, of your movement. Uh, a few quick shout outs here. I want to give a shout out. Hello, Betty and Rick. I was just about to say her name. Uh, we have Karen and Robin, Nathan, Jim and Juan. And I want Jim to know that I'm going fishing next week. So uh, maybe I'll have a few stories to share with him when I get back. Uh, Marge, Cheryl, Sharon, my mom. Uh, Donna, Audrey, my neighbor, Lorinda, Monique, Doug, and Betty, uh, Rick, Rick, Susan, uh, then there's Parkinson Canada and Ontario, Quebec, Nova Scotia, Saskatchewan, and Alberta. Uh, I know that Marge, I think Marge, you're down in Florida. Uh, why don't you guys tell me where you're from? I'd be interested to see who's the furthest away. So again, there's different ways that you can contact me. You can contact me during this live class, or you can leave a message in the Parkinson Canada Manitoba Facebook group page, or don't, don't hesitate. You can add me as a friend. I'll make sure to add you. Okay, enough talking. Let's get moving. I'm just going to move my chair back. My workout area is safe. I don't have any tripping hazards. I'm wearing some tied up shoes here that are going to fit me properly. Had a nice lunch, so I'm not sugar low. A few big glasses of water. I think I'm ready to roll. Right now, we're going to start off with a few deep breaths. Raise in through your nose and out through your mouth. Here we go. So that's one. Let's do number two. Big breath in. And out. This will be our biggest breath of the day so far. Big breath in. And out. Okay, let's think of our posture, sitting up nice and straight. Or if you're standing, feet wider than your shoulders. Try and keep your chin tucked in, shoulders back. Now you know what we're going to do. We're going to do our slap, clap, and snap. So we're slapping our thighs five times, clapping our hands five times, snapping five times. So five down to one, then back to five. Ready, gang? Here we go. One, two, three, four, five. One, two, three, four. One, two, three. One, two. One. One, two. One, two, three. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four, five. All right. Thanks for following along. Again, for our warm up, we're just kind of getting our brain ready for exercise and being able to follow up my lead. We're also getting our body slowly warmed up for the cardio section, which is going to come next. Okay, now let's start off again thinking of our posture. We're just going to do some shoulder shrugs up and down. Nice shoulder shrugs. You might hear a little bit of creaking, a little bit of cracking. If you feel any pain, by all means, stop. If it's one shoulder, you can just do the other shoulder. But if it's both shoulders, yeah, just take it easy. We'll transition. Now we're just going to do this shoulder up and down. Other shoulder up and down. Alternate up and down. Up and now uh, both together. Up and down. Up. And down. Okay. Now we're just going to reach forward. So reach forward one arm and back. Other arm forward and back. Thinking of your posture. Forward and back. Big smiles. Forward and back. Four more. Four. Three. Two. Last one. Okay, now we're going to reach up and over our head and down. Up over your head 
and down. If you have any sort of shoulder pain, by all means, you can make a modification. You just could reach to the forward here and down. Up and down. Other arm up and down. Four more. One and down. Here's two and down. Halfway done. Three and down. Last one. Four and down. I don't know about you, but I felt a nice stretch over here in my lats. Okay, so well, how about we try a little bit of toe tapping? So again, thinking of your posture. Nice and straight, great big smiles. Breathing's probably getting a little bit deeper. Heart rate will be picking up. That's what we're looking for. So remember that intensity so that we're looking at. We're looking for a moderate to vigorous uh, intensity uh, zone. Uh, so you should be able to, you can talk, but you shouldn't be able to sing. Um, yeah, if you're able to sing, you're, you've got you to gotta make it a little bit more intense. And while talking, you know, how we can make it more, more intense as we move along here. Okay, let's tap our heels. Stationary heel taps. All right. Okay, now we're just doing some heel taps. So heel out and back. Out and back, out and back, heel out and back. Four more, four, three, two, and one. Okay, so that's our warm up. For those of you that need to have a sip of water, now would be a great time to grab a sip, of your a sip of water from your water bottle or a glass. Just make sure it's put away somewhere safely so it's not gonna be a tripping hazard for yourself. I'll give you a quick second. We're gonna so we're gonna transition into about 15 to 20 minutes worth of cardiovascular exercise. So we're trying to be moving all the time, and then we're gonna go into uh, cardio cool down after that. Then we're gonna do some strength training, work on our balance and flexibility, and end the class off with some Parkinson specific exercises. Okay, I'm gonna lose my hoodie here because I'm starting to get a little bit toasty. There we go. Okay, let's start off with a march. March, 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 march. March, 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 march. Okay, so just keep on marching. I'm going to talk. If you get lost at all during the choreography or any of my instructions, this is our go-to move. Again, we're trying to stay constantly moving for about 15 to 20 minutes. Uh, and this is our go-to move, marching. Now, how about we add some arms? There we go. Then keep your posture. Breathing is going to get a little bit deeper, a little bit more rapid. That's normal. March, 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 march. March, 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 march. Okay. Whew. Is there any way that we can change this up? Sure there is. How about let's go high marching. So we're gonna go high and down. Knee up and down. Up and down. Knee up and down. Four. Three. Two. And one, okay, march it out. So that's one way that we can make things more intense. We have more larger exaggerated movements. It takes a little bit more work to do it that way. Of course, another way to make it more intense, make it more vigorous, is by picking up the pace, but we'll get there. Okay, let's, how about we take it wide? Here we go. Wide, 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 wide. Wide, 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 wide. Wide, 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 wide. Last one. Wide, 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 wide. Narrow, 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 narrow. March, 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 march. Okay. 
So we try some more wide. Let's give it a go. Here we go. Wide, 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 wide. Wide, 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 wide. Us four. Wide, 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 wide. Narrow, 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 narrow. Okay, not too bad, not too shabby. So how about now, we're gonna march wide and then we're gonna go narrow. Watch me, it's gonna look a little bit like this. Here we go. Wide, wide, narrow, narrow. Wide, wide, narrow, narrow. Wide, wide, narrow, narrow. Wide, wide, narrow, narrow. If it's too hard for you to coordinate your arms with our legs, definitely we could just move our legs. That works for me. For those of us that can, let's go. Wide, wide, narrow, narrow. Wide, wide, narrow, narrow. Four, three, two, and one. March it out, just normally. How was that? Good, I hope not too confusing. Let's try our high knees again. No arms, just turn it, just our legs. Here we go. Up and down, knee up and down, up and down. 10, nine, this is a lot. Eight, seven, six, halfway there. Four, three, two, and one. March it out. Alrighty. Well, I'm definitely getting toasty warm now. We try a few bit more, a few more of the wide, wide, narrow, narrow. Or how about we're just going to alternate? So it's going to be wide, narrow, wide, narrow. No arms, just our legs. Here we go. Wide, wide, narrow, narrow. Wide, wide, narrow, narrow. Narrow, narrow. Wide, wide, narrow, narrow. Wide, wide, narrow, narrow. Wide, wide, narrow, narrow. Four, three, two. And one. Marching out. Alrighty, you guys are doing awesome. How about now we try and pick up the pace just a little bit. So let's march, 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 march. March, 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 march. Here we go. March, 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 march. Keep it going. That pace. Picking up the pace so your heart rate will be getting a little bit faster. Your breathing will get a little bit deeper and more rapid. That's okay. We're going to take in a bit of a roller coaster. I'll slow things down soon enough. March, 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 march. March, 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 march. 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, Four, three, two, and one. Slowing it down. Okay. Let's slow things down a little bit before we transition into the next cardio move here that we're going to do. All right. I'm going to stand up to do this one here. All righty. So no arms, just our legs, marching on the spot. This time what we're going to try, we're going to build up to a V-step. And so we're going to watch me just demonstrate here first. I'm going to do, I'm going to step forward, forward, back, and back. 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 Should we get arms? Back and back. Forward, forward, back and back. Again, the more muscle move, the more muscles that we have moving, the better it is for us. Forward, forward, back and back. Forward, forward, back. No arms. So now we're going to try and transition into the dreaded V step. It's pretty easy. So we're gonna have one foot. Just think of a like a of a, of a clock. 
our one foot's going to go to the two o'clock position. Our other foot was going to go to the 10 o'clock position. And then both feet will eventually end up at six. So it'll look a little bit like this. Two, 10, six, and six. Two, 10, six, and six. Two o'clock, 10 o'clock, six o'clock, back. Two, 10, six, and six. Two, 10, six, and six. For arms, if you want, if it's too complicated with the arms, just do your legs. Six. And of course, this can be done from a seated position too. I'll demonstrate that. Two, 10, six, and six. Two, 10, six, and six. Two o'clock, 10 o'clock, six o'clock, back. Two, 10, six, and six. Two, 10, six, and six. Four, three, two, and one. March it out. How was that for you? I hope not too bad. March, 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 march. March, 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 march. All right, this is the pace we're looking at. We're going to try and bring it wide and narrow. Here we go. Wide. Wide, wide, narrow, narrow, wide, wide, narrow, narrow, wide, wide, narrow, narrow, wide, wide, narrow, narrow, four, three, two, and one. Just marching it out. Okay. Still with me? We're halfway done the cardio. All right. That's the hardest part, typically. Good for you for keeping up. Thinking of our posture, if you're sitting down, sitting up nice and straight. For those of us that are standing, same thing, let's pull our shoulders back. Let's get a great big smile on our face. Okay, how about now we're gonna try marching with a one, two, three, then we're gonna do a heel tap. So no arms, just our legs. Here we go. One, two, three, heel up. Heel tap, one, two, three, and tap. And tap. One, two, three. And tap. Tap. And tap. One, two, three. And tap. And tap. Four, three, two, and one. Just marching it out. Okay, how about we try and add some arms into that? We're going to do the same pattern. It's going to be a one, two, three, then heel tap. But we're going to add our arms. Here we go. One, two, three, and tap. And tap. One, two, three, and tap. One, two, three, and tap. And tap. Four, three, two, and one. Just marching it out. Okay, we're going to do the same movement pattern, except we're going to do a side tap this time. So instead of bringing our foot to the front, we're going to bring our foot to the side. Here we go. One, two, three, and side. And side. One, two, three, and side. And side. Side. And side. One, two, three, and side. Four. Three. Two. And one, marching it out. Okay. No arms, just our legs. Let's just go straight to heel taps, going forward, alternating. Here we go. Out and back. Heel tap and back. Faster, tap and back. Tap and back. For those of you that need the extra challenge, let's add some arms. But if this is tough for you, because we've just finished about 12 minutes of straight cardio, you might be feeling a little bit tired. That's natural. And to add an extra muscle group into this movement might be a little bit too much for you. You can just do this, but for those of us that can, let's add our upper body, bring our hands to shoulder height. Tap and back, tap and back. How does that feel? 
I'm getting toasty warm in here. Tap and back, tap and back. How about now, we're gonna do two taps on one side and then two taps on the other. Right now, one and two. Other side, one and two. Switching up, one and two, one and two. Three times, one, two, Three, changing, one, two, three, change it here, one, two, three, change it, one, two, three, four times now, one, two, three, and four, one, two, three, and four, one, two, three, and four, last one, one, two, three, and four. Okay, marching it out. All righty. Woo. Thank goodness it's Friday. You guys have any big plans for the weekend? Camping, great time to go out to the lake. If you have a lake. Great time to go outside for the exercise. All right, so how about now, let's transition, no arms, just our legs, let's bring it wide, holding it there, I'm going to stand up. From here, we're going to transition to some toe taps, so it's going to look like this, tap and tap, tap and tap, this seated position is the same thing, and tap, tap and tap, feet are definitely wider than your shoulders. So we're also working on our balance here, and tap, tap, and tap. How about we add some arms? Here we go, tap, and tap. Swinging your arms, if you can, bring your hands up to shoulder height, and tap, and tap, tap, and tap. Let's do one arm, and tap, tap, and tap, tap, and tap. Other arm, tap, and tap. There you go. We're getting close to that 20 minute mark, gang. 20 minutes, Whew, who would have thought? Both arms, tap, and tap. For those of you that need the extra workout, we can bring our arms up higher, bring up to shoulder height. Everybody else can keep your arms low. If you have no shoulder problems, this is even more challenging. Tap and tap, tap and tap. 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. Okay, march it out. Okay, we're going to start to slow things down a little bit here. How about we do some shoulder rolls while we're marching, rolling our shoulders backwards. Again, if that's too hard for you to coordinate, you can just do the legs or you can just do the shoulders. Now let's go forward with the shoulders. Okay, no more shoulders. Marching on the spot. Okay, so for what we're going to do now, then I'm going to have you put one foot in front of the other. Legs are still wide though. So it's going to look a little bit like this. I have one foot in front, one foot in back. Feet are still wide. I'm leaning forward and back. So from a profile shot, it's going to look forward and back, like rocking backwards and forwards. We're going forward and back, forward and back. Adding arms forward and back, forward, and back. I'm going to start to slow things down. So your breathing will return closer to normal. Keeping your head held high. Slowing our heart rate down. Forward and back, forward and back. 
four more, three, two, and one. Okay, changing our legs, putting the other leg forward, the other leg back. Try and keep your feet still wide. Gives you a nice solid foundation. No arms to start off with. Going forward and back. Forward and back. Here we go. Forward and back. Forward and back. Whew. Slowing it right down. Forward and back. Ten. Nine. Eight. Seven, six, five, four, three, two, last one, one. Okay, how about now? I'm going to sit down to do this next one. Let's do a little bit of YMCA. We haven't really tried that one yet. So this is just going to be for upper body. We're going to do it nice and slow and controlled. So we're going Y, M, C, A. Let's try that again. Y, M, C, A. Last one. Y, M, C, and A. Okay. We're just going to move our arms forward and back, forward, and back, one arm, there we go, and back, forward, and back, other arm, forward, and back, forward, and back, now we're going to side to side arms, one side, then the other, slowing things down a lot now, Trying to get all the blood that may have pooled to our large muscles and our quadriceps. Our quadriceps are our largest muscles in our body. And we did a lot of exercising with them today in the cardio section. So they required a lot of oxygen. So a lot of the blood went there. Let's do one arm. Now we're trying to distribute it to different body parts. Again, keeping our head held high. Other arm, side. Two side, side, two side. One more, side, two side. Heel taps out and back, out and back. Very purposefully slow, nice and controlled. So we're just finishing our cardio cool down. Forward and back. Four, three, two, and one. All right, gay. Okay. We've just finished our warm up, our cardio, over 20 minutes of cardio, and our cardio cool down. So now would be another great time to grab a sip of water if you, if you need if you need to have some. And then um, I'm going to ask you to uh, get ready for our strength training here. So we're not going to need any cans of beans or cans of soup or, or hand weights or therabands, surgical tubing. We're just going to try and focus on working with gravity today and we're going to work on our lower body as well. Okay, so for this next one that we're going to be doing, I'm going to demonstrate sitting down, but I'm going to do them standing up. So these are going to be our sit to stands. If you're doing a sit to stand, uh, if you have armrests, you could definitely use them. But if you don't have to use them, I prefer that you don't use them. So you see how my feet are nice and wide, but the wider than my shoulders. I'm going to be going to a standing position and then I'm going to be sitting back down. If you can't stand up all the way, that's OK. Even if you can go up just a little bit, that makes a difference. So it's almost like getting on and off uh, uh, a toilet. Um, the same sort of movement, working the same muscles here. So I'm going to demonstrate sitting down, but I'm going to do these standing up. Just watch. The first one is a demonstration. I'm straight up and down. Very slow and controlled. Very purposeful. Now for those of you that want to stand up and do these, we're going to do squats. And for squats, it's important that we're not leaning forward. What we're actually doing, we're shooting our butt back. 
and our, our, our legs should be at a 90 degree angle. So again, I've got my feet wider than my shoulders. I'm going to hang on to a chair for a little bit of uh, stability. I'm bending my knees down and I'm shooting my butt back. See how I'm shooting my butt back? Back, so my legs are at a 90 degree angle and I'm standing up. If you can't go down all the way, that's okay. Even going down partial makes a difference. So we're going to try in six. Ready, gang? Here we go. Down, shoot that butt out if you're sitting, if you're standing up. And up. If you're doing the sit to stand, you know what you gotta do. That's two. Here's three, shoot that butt out. Halfway done. And here's four. And five, one more for good health, gang. One more, we can do it. And six. Whew. I, myself, I like to try and get all the hard work out of the way first. Uh, so those are really tough to do. The sit the stands or the squats, those are, that's really tough work. So if you're able to do all six, good for you. If you weren't able to do all six, that's okay. It's not a competition. Do as many as you feel comfortable that you can do. Okay, from here we're going to do a calf raise. I'm going to demonstrate sitting down, but I'm going to do them sit standing up. So calf raise, thinking of my posture, I'm going up on my toes for a count of three, and then down for a count of three. So that's one, two, three, up. Three, two, one, down. And if those, those of you that are standing, you can have a hand on the wall, you can hang on to a chair. Feet are definitely wider than your shoulders. Looking straight ahead, we're going up on your toes for a three count and down for a three count. That's one. One, two, three, up. Three, two, one, down. That's two. This is three. Halfway there. Here's four. And five, one more, and six. All right. Okay, now we're going to try uh, raising our knee, then we're going to extend our knee. I'm going to demonstrate again, sitting from a seated position, but I'm going to do them from a standing position. From sitting down, sitting up nice and straight. I'm bringing one leg up for a three count, and then I'm going to kick my toe up for a three count. So that's one, two, three, up. Three, two, one, out. Three, two, one, back. Three, two, one, down. That's hard. So it's again important to do it controlled. If you do it slow, all the better. From the standing position, it's going to look a little bit like this. So it's going to be one, two, three, up, one, two, three, out, three, two, one, back, three, two, one, down. We're going to do four each leg. Here we go. One, two, three, up, three, two, one, out, three, two, one, back. Three, two, one, down. That's one each foot. Second one. One, two, three, up. One, two, three, out. Three, two, one, back. Three, two, one, down. Other leg. Again, nice and controlled. Very purposeful. So our nervous system is really working right now. It's firing, that's what we want. If you're a person living with Parkinson's disease, we really want to engage with our nervous system here. Three, two, one, out, and back, and down. Almost done, three, up, out, back, down last one each like we can do it up out back and down 
Last one. Up. Out. Back. And down. Again, that was really tough work. So if you're able to do all, all of those, good on you. Uh, if, you if you weren't able to, we're going to get you there. You just stay with the class. You remember, we have classes every Monday, Tuesday, and Friday. And exercise is one of those things. The more you do, the more you're going to have the energy to do it. Okay, from here, what we're going to do, we're going to be doing a straight leg up. I'm going to demonstrate standing up, but I'm going to do them sitting down. So I'm bringing my legs straight up in front for three count. And back, nice and controlled, very purposeful and slow. From the seated position, it would be the exact same motion. Here we're gonna, we're gonna do four each leg. So one leg is up in front. We're gonna do four times one leg and four times the other. One, two, three, up. Three, two, one, down. That's one. This is two. Here's three, two, one, up, and down, last one, one, two, three, up, three, two, one, down, changing legs, going up, two, three, and down, two, three, up, and down, up and down one more up and down guess what i got a surprise for you we're going to do a few more sit to stands we're not going to do six we're only going to do four all right so for those of you that are from a seated position definitely you can do it from a seated position if you can't go up all the way that's all right for those of you that want to stand just try and have, you can do squats um just try and have a chair or a wall to give you some, a little bit of stability. You might be a little bit tired. We've been exercising here for close to 40 minutes. Okay, I'm going to do the sit to stand. So my feet are definitely wider than my shoulders. I'm leaning forward and then up and down. That's one. Here's two. And three, one more. And four. All right. So now we're going to, uh, we're done with our legs. So you can either sit down or you can stand up if you want. Whatever is best for you is best for me. So I want you to try and raise your abdominal floor. When I'm, for some people that are living with Parkinson's disease, you know that uh, one of the symptoms is that uh, you kind of lose some of the feelings of, uh, of, of, of what it's like to control your, your abdominal region here. So if you can, if you have to, you can always close your eyes. Think of that sensation. You know when you're going pee and you want to stop the flow of pee midway, um, you have to kind of engage your, 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 your abdominal core. So try and do the same thing, raising it up. Engage, engage, hold it there, continuing to breathe, head held high. Raising your abdominal floor and relax. It's part of aging as well. So those things that happen naturally. But the more we can do to keep them engaged, the better it is. Let's try again. Raising your pelvic floor. Call these Kegel exercises as well. And relax. Last one. Here we go. Raising our pelvic floor. Hold it there. Let's hold it. Hold it. Continuing to breathe. Get a, get a big smile on our face. And relax. Okay. Now, to finish off our strength training, we're going to do a few chair crunches here. So you will need a chair for this exercise. So what we're going to do, you're going to move your buttocks towards the end of your seat. Let's think of our posture sitting up nice and straight, pulling our shoulders back. You can either try not to hook your feet underneath the, the legs of your chair. Uh, that's kind of defeating the purpose here. So again, sitting up nice and straight, feet are wide. You can have your hands across your chest. You can have them out in front of you. You can have them on your lap, whatever is best for you. This is I find this the easiest way. So I'm going to try and do that. We're going to do down 
I'm going down till my back touches the chair and up. That's one. Going down, breathe out and in. Four more out and in. Out. And in two more. We can do it. Down. And up. Last one. Down. And up. All right. We'll give it a little bit of a break. We're going to try six more. Okay. Almost done, gang. Almost done. Stay with me. This time I'm going to do them. I'm going to have my hands on my lap. Hardest way I find is with here, my hands across my chest. So if you want to try it that way, you can definitely try it that way. I'm going to put my hands on my lap, thinking of my posture, sitting up nice and straight, shoulders back, leaning down. And up. That's one. Here's two. Breathe out. And in. Out. And in. Out and in two more. Out and in last one. Out and in. All right, well, we've just finished our strength training. So, cardio warm up, cardio, cardio cool down, strength training. Now, you know what? We got to work on our balance here. So, again, we're going to do this from a seated position. We're just basically going to be reaching forward. So just think again about getting on and off a toilet. So I'm going to have my feet wider than my shoulders. I'm leaning forward, keeping my head held high, just balancing on the balls of my feet. And back. Let's try that one more time. Feet are nice and wide. So we're going to be putting our, placing our body weight on the balls of our feet, leaning forward, head held high, breathing. Holding it there, and back. Last one, forward, and back. Okay, so these next set of exercises, uh, you won't need a chair, but you can definitely hang on to a chair for some stability, or you can have a hand on the wall. We're going to do our walking the line. So we're going to put one foot in front of the other. Pretend there's an imaginary line in front of you. And we're going to walk on that imaginary line. Forward, one foot in front of the other. And stop. And we're going to go back. For those of you living with Parkinson's disease, and say one of the symptoms are that you do freeze. That's something we're going to work on next. Okay, so when I'm walking forward, I will walk forward. I'll say freeze. I need you to stop. So forward, freeze. Again, our brain is processing all this information. So the more that we can challenge ourselves, the better it is. Forward, all the way, and stop. We're going to walk backwards all the way, no freezing. Okay, we're going to try that one more time, and we're going to freeze twice, though, this time. Ready? Here we go. Forward. Freeze. Forward. Freeze. Forward. Stop. Now we're going to go back. Walking back. There we go. That's our walking the line. Okay, now I'm going to hang on to the chair. I'm going to do some knee raises, raising my knee high. So let's get, I'll do it from a, so you get a profile shot here. You can do this sitting down. It'll be more of a muscular strength training workout though. So we're raising up high, holding it there. And we're working on our balance. You can hang on to a chair if you need to or a wall. For those of you that need the extra challenge, you can take your hands off, balancing on one foot. It's okay to put your foot down. Four, 
three, two, one. Changing feet, other legs going up, holding it there. For those of you that need the extra challenge, you can let go of the chair, take your hand off the wall. Good to have it there though, just in case you need it. Four, three, two, one. From here, we're going to transition into shifting our weight from one side to the other. So I'm going to shift my weight this side. I'm going to keep one foot on the ground. You can hang on to a chair if you need to, or you can put your hand up on the wall. Again, our brain is processing all this information. And the more that we can challenge it, the more our brain will be used to it. So that if you ever do feel, if you ever are off balance, your brain is able to adapt and make those little minor changes in order for you to keep your balance. We do to one side, we gotta do to the next. Leaning sideways. All right. Now we're gonna stretch out our calves for those of you that are standing up. I'm gonna demonstrate standing up, but I'm gonna do these sitting down. For those of you that are standing up, we're gonna put one leg behind, you're gonna press your toe down, and then you're gonna press your heel down. You should feel the stretch in the back side of your lower leg. Remember, head held high. You can have a big smile on your face, all the better. And for those of us that are from a, in a seat or in a chair, we can get the same stretch simply by raising our toes towards the ceiling. So for those of you standing, let's change your leg. For those of us that are sitting, we're going to raise your toes up, holding it there. Standing, it's toes down, then you can press your heel down and relax. We're going to do two more. Changing your legs if you're standing, if you're sitting, both feet up. Should feel the stretch in the lower side of your back side of your leg. And relax. Last one. Changing legs if you're standing. Thinking of your posture, if you're sitting down, up, and relax. All right, well, that's our, that's our balance training. Now we're going to do some stretching, some work on our flexibility here. So I'm going to demonstrate this sitting down. What I'm going to be doing with you from a profile shot so you see exactly what I'm doing. I'm sticking one leg out, toes in the air. I'm leaning forward. I'm not leaning down, I'm just leaning forward. You'll feel the stretch along the back side of your upper, upper part of your leg. So in your hamstrings, so you're leaning forward, head held high, continue to breathe. You should feel a nice stretch. For those of you with any sort of uh, piriformis syndrome or sciatica, you'll know that this feels really good. The physiotherapist has probably told you to do this one. Holding the stretch a little bit longer, head held high, and back, switching legs. Leg goes forward, toes in the air, leaning forward. Head held high. She's got a great big smile on her face. Mm -mm -mm, that feels good. A little bit longer, and back. Okay, from here we're going to stretch our inner thigh. If you're standing, this can be done the same thing. So we're going to put, I'm going to put both hands on my one knee, keeping my one leg up to the side. So you should feel a stretch along the inside of your thigh. Again, shoulders are back, head held high, continuing to breathe, holding that stretch. Do to one side, we must do to the other. Changing legs, kicking our leg out. Feeling the stretch along your inner thigh. Okay, we're gonna do a chest stretch if you're standing up or sitting down. The action is the same way, stretching your arms out to the side. If you feel any shoulder pain, you can drop the arm that has a short, sore shoulder. You don't even have to do that arm altogether. But we're trying to stretch across our chest here, nice and wide. Follow this up with a bear hug. So 
Just cross your arms, see how far back you can get your fingers. Almost done. Nice big chest stretch again. Mm, I feel so, so good. And crisscross your arms the other way, a bear hug. See how far you can get your fingers back there. We're going to finish off our flexibility with uh, bringing our chin to our chest. Your head slowly down, head back to neutral, bring your head back down, and to neutral. All right, so how about now we work on our Parkinson's specific ex uh, exercises. I'm going to move a little bit closer so you can see what I'm doing. Okay, so how about we work on our smiles first? We're going to work on our politician's smile. So a great big smile, stretching, stretch it out. There you go. Working on the Parkinson mask here. Great big smile, over-exaggerate. Big, big, big smile. And relax, neutral. Let's try that great big smile again. Great big smile. There you go, stretch it out. Oh, that feels good. And relax. Now we're gonna do our tongue exercises. Again, this is not sexy by any, by, any, by any imagination, but it's important for us to do this. So we're gonna stick our tongue out and up first, then it's gonna be out and down, then one side and the other. Here we go, sticking our tongue out and up. And in, we're gonna stick our tongue out and down. And in, stick your tongue that way. Now we're gonna stick our tongue the other side. Now we're gonna work on our jaw. So we use this for eating. So we're going to drop our jaw as far down as you can. Mm -hmm. Hold it there. And relax. We'll try to drop the jaw one more time. And relax. We'll work on our vowels now. Again, if you could look into a mirror, all the better. So we're trying to over exaggerate this. So our vowels are A, E, I, O, and U. Here we go. A, E, I, O, U. One more time. A, E, I, O, U. Last one. A, E, I, O, U. Okay, we're going to finish things off with our finger exercises. So it's going to be index, middle, ring, pinky. Index, middle, ring, pinky. One more. Index, middle, ring, pinky. You're done. We've just done 50 minutes. So well, again, we're looking for that 150 minutes of uh, moderate to vigorous exercise per week. That's a minimum. So if you can go out and get some exercise tomorrow or the next day, the days in between our classes here, that's fantastic. The more that you can get, the better it is. Uh, the Parkinson Canada Superwalk is still a go for this year. It's changed a little bit. If you're living with Parkinson disease, you know what change is all about. So uh, Parkinson Canada, we had to change as well. So instead of having a large collective uh, walk, we're going to be having smaller virtual walks. So you'll be walking with your family and friends in your neighborhood. Um, but we're still collecting pledges because uh, no matter what, we got to be there for you. So we want to be able to give you that su support you in the programming that's really important to you and to fund further research until we find a cure for Parkinson's disease. Again, if you have any questions, any comments, by all means, you can contact me. Uh, on Facebook uh, through the uh, Parkinson Canada Manitoba Facebook group page. 
you can contact me, you can send me a friend invite and we can communicate that way. For those of you that are on YouTube, subscribe to our YouTube channel. It's Parkinson Canada. Uh, so yes, yeah, subscribe to that YouTube channel. Uh, like us, you can leave a comment. I'll be tr I'll try to do as best I can to get back to you as soon as I, as soon as I can um, with any questions that you may have. And of course, you can always find us at parkinson.ca. All right, gang, I hope you have a fantastic weekend and I'll see you on Monday. Take care. Bye-bye.